Hello everybody, it's Dog on Games Today. We're gonna be playing How's Your Day. Now, um, I don't know what this game is. It just seems... I just kind of found it and it looked interesting. Uh, Barista, pick a name that all the information you provide is true in the... We'll serve a variety of customers the order they request. Perform all duties with reasonable skill, ability, and diligence. You are entitled to rest and meal breaks in accordance with the break schedule. Oh, yeah, sure. My name is Doggone. Hello. Hey, give me a coffee with milk. Get a coffee. Oh, I need a cup. Coffee. And milk. Thanks, Doggone Gamer. Oh, and for the night shift as well. I know not many people like it. I don't really mind. I kind of like the people that come around this. You mean sad people looking for a safe place? Yeah, man. They're relatable. So I, I can see that. If they want a safe place, I'll give it. That's nice. I know I would want that. At least. Well, I'm glad you're not too bothered. So, why are you here anyway? Just checking how you're doing. Seems like everything's fine. Alright. <clears throat> so it seems like we got some issues going on here. Alright, well, you enjoy that. Uh, let's see what else we got. Well, I've got to go. Good luck, doggone gamer. Just clean that. Oh, hello. I just need straight black coffee. Oh shoot, how do I make black coffee? Oh no. Oh no, black coffee, black coffee, black coffee. Uh. I assume just nothing. Right? This is good. Alright, well. Fair enough. Give me a black coffee with some wafers. You want some coffee? You want some wafers in there? There you go. Thank you. No problem. How's your day? He said the thing. What thing? Meh. I accidentally looked at it at Chirper. Ah oh, yes. Chirper can be pretty stupid at times. Well, well yes, but. You see, I'm a game developer. Oh. Ah, yes. Hmm. Yes, very interesting. You know, a couple of years ago, I always used... Used Chirper. What? I followed a bunch of other big developers and other famous people in the community. And every day I would check my feed to see the latest things happen... To see the latest happenings. Drama in the community, to topical, topical memes, wood grains review, other people's work. And it was great. I felt like I belonged in the community. Even if only one person would like my tweets, if I was lucky. But for some reason, I stopped. I think it was because I started work on this new product, on this new project. And during that six month period, I was completely disconnected from the community. I missed out on the annual award ceremony, which I would always attend. Didn't watch the developer conference last year. I pretty much skipped all, all the events last year. There could have been a competition for a million dollars and I wouldn't know. But, I finished it. But now... When I go to Chirper and see posts from other developers, I feel 
anxious, worried, and as much as I hate to say it, jealous. I see people I've never seen before post updates of games and stuff they're working on, and they're so much better than me. I've been doing this for, a, for like a decade now, and I'm still not good enough? Were those 10 years of my life just a waste? And no. Those 10 years of, was experience that, that doesn't mean you're worse. Skills aren't something you're good at with luck. If others, who presumably have less experience than you, has better skills than you, then they've learned it with practice in YouTube videos. Which means you can too. But, there's so many devs that are better though. I'm like, a nobody. I think you're putting your worth in the wrong thing. You see your worth related to how successful you are, but instead it should be directed at to how much you can improve your skills. And I'm sure there's plenty of others in your situation. You're just following the popular people. Still. You're not a nobody. You're... Uh... What's your name? You're Sam. You're Sam! Thank you. Am I a therapist now or something? So I assume the green ones are people who want to talk, and blue ones are people who just want their stuff. Thanks for letting me find... What do you want? I want milk. Just... Just straight up milk. Uh, she said she wanted milk. Uh... You, she said she want milk. No, uh, she got one coffee. This is a barista. Or do people... You know what? I'm a, I need to learn with experience, like I said before. You want milk. Just flat out milk, huh? Fine, you want... Know Take your milk. It is a milk! You say you want milk. Oh, no. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you. You just want milk. Okay. Can I get a coffee with just, like, everything? Okay. Coffee. Sugar. Wafers, milk, all that. And this is a very sweet coffee you got here. Hmm. What's wrong? Huh? How do you know something's wrong? I wonder. Your face is literally. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just tired, I guess. I came from the party around the corner. You mean. The room that got rented for National Hot Dog Day? <laughs> yeah. A very important day. Why aren't you there? Hmm. It doesn't feel right. Everyone there is so chatty. So extroverted. And there's me. I feel so tired around others. And it's not like I don't like people. I do. I just don't feel like... You know, going on stage to do the chicken dance. That's fair. It's something wrong with me, right? Everyone else can easily make a joke on the spot like they're in stand-up. Everyone else can have a blast at parties. Everyone else can respond to Discord messages the second they see a notification. Oh, you really? Oh man, I guess it's kind of true. Wait, do I do that? I don't know. It's, I don't know. Except me. Huh. You aren't alone, you know. I'm sure there's plenty of others that feel the same way. Maybe in your world. Sure, I could go to r slash social skills to find people akin to me. But in my world, literally everyone around me is outgoing like that. Now, I'm not using the word literally in the Twitter way. It sounds to me that it sounds to me you're just an introvert, and that's bad. If I want to have friends and be social, 
I need to be extroverted. No, 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 no. You're thinking about it. You're thinking about it wrong. Being introverted isn't bad nor good. Neither is being extroverted. It's just a personality trait, which no one else know, which no one else I know has. Maybe because they aren't going to parties. We're standing on stage singing "We Are the World." Maybe they're just in a library. Maybe in a cafe. Maybe even at home. Maybe, don't quote me. Hmm. <laughs> what is that, hmm? I'm gonna guess it's the sound of you enjoying your coffee. <laughs> no, it's just a habit I do when I'm thinking. Sorry. It's a good coffee, though. Thanks. Give me a nice coffee with milk, sugar, and wafers. I've got no time to waste. I'm a busy man. Let's go. Alright, I see. Empty cup. Sugar, wafers, milk, and coffee. Oh, now I got two people here who want to vent. Is good? Here you go. Thanks. How was your day? Uh, it's been good. Where's the other one? Huh? Usually someone else is working here today, aren't they? Oh yeah, Carver. I'm covering for them today. Normally I work on weekdays. Oh. You come here often? I always come this day. Th this time. Always. Never ending. Do you think routines are bad? Doing the same thing over and over again? Uh, I guess it's good for reducing stress and staying organized. But if that's like your whole life, then you can't then you can't change, can you? Same thing over and over again? There's no challenge, no growth. And I'm pretty sure that's the definition of... Ugh. Oh man. What's up? I'm about to start this accounting job. I'm worried that I'm going to start this never-ending routine. Wake up. Get ready, go to work, come back, sleep. Over and over. It's insanity. Hmm. Why why'd you become an accountant? I don't know. I never really wanted to do anything. Accounting was just a thing that came to mind when I wondered about. A job that didn't require it to devote my life to it 24-7. But now it's like coming to me the realization I just do this over and over until I die well there's always more there's always more other stuff to do it can be that way but you have the opportunity to do other things too eat at a restaurant you haven't been in ride a random bus not knowing where you're going travel somewhere without a plan sounds like pain huh I thought you wanted to do, do different things. Yeah, and I'm wondering if I do or not. Should I even try to do that? Everything could just stay the same as it is. And that's not what life is. You live to challenge yourself so you can grow as a person. Eh, who cares anyway? Life is me. Oh, no. So, what's the point of doing anything? I wouldn't say it's meaningless. Even though we don't know why we're here, or why we're made, we can still give life we can still give life meaning. It could be it could be anything too. If you want to go and eat at every McDonald's in the world, that's great. If you want to make people happy, that's even better. Even if it's just to get through the day to eat that mud cake you've been saving in the fridge, that's good enough. That does sound nice. This planet is so vast and large. It's exciting. The world can be your oyster. And you can do whatever you want. As long as it isn't illegal. Uh. Pain, pain, pig, 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 pig. No. I can do whatever I want. Huh? 
I mean, don't kill anyone, but sure. But how about this? One day after work, go and talk to someone in the city. Someone random that you don't know. And get to know them. Take them to a cafe or something. What's the worst that could happen? They could be a murderer. Cesse la vie. Hmm. Dang, I might come here more now. Because of you. Yeah, I'll always be here. That's nice. So your name is Sam with a Z? What is going on over there? This, that guy does not have anything covered. Anyways, that's gonna be all for this video. And until the next one... Bye! Uh...